everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kristana, and today what we're gonna do is go over something super exciting. First, I wanna tell you though, there's not gonna be a lot of talking in this video, which some of you guys are like, yay! And some of you guys like hearing me talk because of teaching. This is kind of a straightforward and to the point video. I just wanted to show you what I did to remake this China Hutch Plus. Because of what's going on right now, both of my kids are home and you would just be hearing them scream in the background. So it's gonna be a lot of music. I, I'll do a lot of subtitles, things like that. So it'll be a little bit different than what we normally do, but I did wanna still keep getting out content, even though my kids are home, because I know a lot of you guys are stuck at home. So I have been searching for the most perfect raspberry color. So my hair actually matches Dixie Belle's Plum Crazy, right? But I wanted something brighter, but more deep, like a jewel tone. And so I came up with the perfect mixture. And I'm gonna show you that later on in the video, but I'm gonna go over the product list that we're gonna use. Now, all of these are gonna be listed in the description below and most, not all, have affiliate links. So when you do click on that link, I do get a small commission, but it's just to help support my small business and say thank you for the tutorials. So what you're gonna need is, I'm using my Dixie Belle synthetic brush. I have used this to paint the inside of my piece and then I'm gonna use it to paint the outside of my piece. These are my favorite brushes because they're high quality. They do not hold onto the paint as much. They allow it to spread. Look, it's great. I also have a mister bottle because this piece is super dry. I'm talking, it's so thirsty. This piece is going to need a lot of Big Mama's butter or hemp oil on it because, and I'll put that on after I do the painting. It's just super dry. It's an older piece and you can see, and I'll show you later on, you can see just how dry the wood is. So I'm using a mister bottle to help kind of glide the paint a little bit more. Otherwise it's just gonna soak into that wood. The inside of this piece, the top of the inside of the hutch is going to be painted in caviar. There we go, caviar, woo, woo. Oh, hold on. Oh, come on, focus, there we go, caviar. Dixie Belle caviar. Now the top of the back of this piece is, I used celebrated tissue paper. I'm gonna use this side right here. There is, let's see, is there a name on it? Mm, I don't know. So this is celebrated tissue paper that I got from Michaels when I still lived in the States. I live in Germany right now, but I just looked online last night and they still carry it. So I'll put a link down. It's not an affiliate link, but you know, if you want to get it online or you can go to your local Michaels, they always have coupons for you. And so this is the side that I use the floral that you'll see on the back. This is separate. It's not the same. So there's three pieces of this one right here. And then I think there's like, there's like three or four pieces. There's three or four pieces of this one and then like four to, I don't know how many. There's 10 pieces all together, but I think there's less of this flower one. So anyways, this is what I used for the back. Now it is tissue paper, so, and it's a thinner tissue paper, so I haven't quite figured out how to get total wrinkles out of the very thin tissue paper. The stuff that I use from Hobby Lobby is a little bit thicker, so I can move around with it a little bit more and play with it and not rip it. So I did the best I could to get all the wrinkles out, but I wanna kinda age this anyways. So a lot of people iron it before they do it. I'm not sure that ironing it will still not let it wrinkle when you put the clear coat on. But anyways, that is what I used for that. And then of course I'm using the satin clear coat to decoupage with. This is awesome guys. I love using this for decoupage. And then I'm going to mess around with some of the black wax in some of the ornate pieces. When you see this piece, you'll see what I'm saying. So the black wax, what it's going to do and I may end up using the dark wax too. What it's gonna do is kind of bring out those details in the piece when you see it a little bit later. Also, it may turn the raspberry color into more of a jewel toned color. So just keep in mind with that. I do have two sponge, high quality sponge brushes and I'm gonna use these for my decoupage, which you will also see. And then for my custom raspberry color. First of all, you wanna make sure that you get like a measuring spoon or something like this, because this is going to be a one for one for one recipe, okay? Formula. So 
equal parts of all three of these colors that I'm about to show you. You can measure it out depending on how much you're using, use a measuring cup, whatever. This is water-based paint. So once you're done, you can still use the stuff in the kitchen. When you're done with it, just go and rinse it out and wash it and it's totally fine. That's what I do anyways. So make sure you clean it first though. So you're gonna need maybe a mixing cup and I like to use tongue depressors to mix things, but I'm also gonna show you this recipe here in a couple minutes. But the colors that I'm gonna use, there's three colors that we're using, and it is Dixie Belle's Peony, Dixie Belle's Plum Crazy, Honky Tonk Red. These three colors right here are what's gonna give you that perfect raspberry color. It may seem like a lot, Okay, and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to buy three colors to get the one color. You can just get the eight ounce jars that are $11. And when you mix it, let's say that you mix, there's eight ounces here. So even if you mix two ounces of each, you get two, four, six of each jar, you're still having all this other paint left over and you're mixing another one enough for a whole piece. So think of it that way. I like to mess around and make new colors. Dixie Belle does have like 69 colors, but sometimes there's a color that I want that I just I have to mix myself. So this is how I got the raspberry piece. And I'm super excited for you guys to be with me. And again, this is probably the most talking that I'm gonna do. So just sit back, enjoy it, and let's create. I'm gonna be using Big Mama's Butter in Orange Grove. Because this piece is so old and dry, I'm going to actually put it all inside here to rejuvenate the wood and to deodorize it to kind of give it that old musty smell away.
Okay, everybody, here is the piece behind me. It is a cool, awesome raspberry color. And now that I did the black wax, it's got even more of a cool jewel tone to it. Remember, all of the products that we used are in the description below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so you get all the latest information. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and happy creating.